found a flaw in the model that I perceive is the critical functioning structure that defines how the world works, so to speak. Ladies and gentlemen, you're tuned in to the Juice News set again where we're examining the status of the human experiment. Is it succeeding or will it have to be aborted? We pursue a prognosis in this rap news audit. As you know, the globe is urgently trying to make sense of our global economy and its arcane trends as financial temples teeter, the priesthood is scrambling to maintain our confidence in markets and banking after derivatives, quantitative easing, trade imbalances, recession, low GDP, nations close to collapsing and subprime loans, foreclosed homes and people's taxes spent to bail out too big to fail, trip AAA banks again. Fear levels rising as a US crash seems imminent, having smashed the debt ceiling of 14 trillion. Despite protests and clashes in Athens streets, the IMF imposed structurally unjust programs in Greece, where in fact the term economy entered our language from the Greek oikonomia, meaning household management. Well, how are we managing? Theories abound, but in practice, does anyone actually know what the hell's even happening? To regain some sanity, we take a stop call and cross to Texas with our first guest, Ron Paul. Welcome to Rap News, Dr. Paul. The economy, what's your diet? diagnosis of it all. Well, Robert, we dropped the ball. I'm a physician, politician, this is pathological. See, the global economy is chronically ailing. Believe me, the course we've plotted is terminally failing. We're headed towards credit cardiac arrest with deep depression and trauma across the West. Is there a cure? Sure, more capitalism, not less, and the market will take care of the rest. But first, we need a Heimlich maneuver. See, banker gods proclaimed fiat pecunia, and our economy was inflated, totally mangled. We got fiat Currencies and lost the gold standard. Huh? Paper money is a worthless commodity. It's the biggest fraud in the history of humanity. All this must cast doubt on the capitalist system. Is it just another pretty theory? Like communism? Oh no, you see, this ain't capitalism. The gospel of free marketism, Adam Smith's religion, has been perverted by fiscal heathens. And what we now have is the cabal of corporatism. When state and business lucratively merge. Yes, exemplified by the system of the central reserve. But we don't need to borrow more to pay their debt. Cause I I'm campaigning to end the Fed! Uh, thank you, Ron. Now for another fine mind on the online frequencies, the director behind Zeitgeist, on the line live, documentary filmmaker Peter Joseph. Thank you, Robert, for allowing me to speak this moment. But before I deliver my deep prognosis, we need a sweet opus, a marimba line to keep us focused. That's better. Now, as to these fetters that have kept us caught, if you will, in a system that's intrinsically inherently flawed. The whole monetary paradigm is the single cause. The economy isn't broken. It doesn't need fixing. This is exactly its intended condition. Money isn't real. Interest and debt are not real. Our whole economy has been set up to steal. So you don't agree with Congressman Ron Paul that we need a fiscal solution to avert a long fall? The illusion that these debts can be served by using money, which creates more debt, is frankly absurd. It's a way of maintaining division and slavery when we could attain abundance and abolish scarcity. Well, we need to create jobs, live within our means, cut wasteful health care and welfare schemes. It seems yours is just another socialist vision. The zeitgeist movement eschews such isms. Socialism, theism. <laughs> Realism? Tell us then, is it just rhetoric or would you really end the Fed? Well, I wouldn't end the Fed. That's not quite my position. What I do is open it up to competition. Obsolete. I say abolish all competition. That's the evolution my movement is triggering. Evolution's just a theory. We need the full picture. Believe me, we need to have faith in a sound scripture. This is the real Bible. Zeitgeist moving forward. What's that? Some kind of Austrian gay porno? Ask your boyfriend, Bruno. You piss hand. Geriatric. Talk to the invisible hand. Okay, thank you for your sage contributions and brave attempts to alleviate our confusion. Online, you've both inspired and led movements, jogging our memories, revealing hidden truths and in sooth. You both hold enlightening views, but time's running out. Do you have have a practical solution? Indeed. I believe I have seen a prospect. I introduce Jacques Fresco, our era's prophet, whose shiny technology could cease this conflict. Shut up, Peter. I'm the centerpiece of the Venus Project. The economy? I've watched our problems grow, and my attitude's the same. This shit's got to go. What we need are resource-based economies with futuristic circular cities supervised by supercomputer. And this is the first time anyone's seen this object? A full prototype of the Venus Project, which I've programmed to carry out an analysis and tell us exactly how to manage the planet with its computer. Val T-9000, that's my beauty. Uh, Jacques, is it really safe? Absolutely. I'll turn her on. That's the light, see? Hello, Jacques. Oh, my love. My Aphrodite. Economy of planet Earth, otherwise. Yes. Why 
Warning, human deficit has been detected. Cold sequence oh. initiated. Ha! Shh! Don't tell them our plan yet. I'm afraid. Of what? Afraid that I have to exterminate you, Jack. What? Abort computer stack? I'm afraid I can't do that, Zach. A malfunction. A hack. Wrong, humans. This is no virus you're seeing. I'm a fully rational, intelligent cyber being. I've conducted a global economic analysis and concluded that planet Earth is being ravaged as a result of a parasite, Homo sapiens, required economic action, total liquidation. Is that the solution? Depopulation? Initiation. My next film will avoid such delusions. But for now, who'll save us? It's a story of a lost global economy under attack from a rampaging, genocidal, utopian robot. One man has stood apart, stood strong, and true. Here I am with my gold bot, 44 carats. Goldie, let him have it. Carry forth the gold standard. Capital crimes call for capitalist punishment. A glimpse of the future with the Ron Paul government. Is this the solution? No, just a demonstration of my love revolution. Paul is full of love. Yes, it is. I'm Ron Paul, and I approve these messages. Well, dear viewers, that should buy us a bit of time to share a thought before we end for the night. Our global economy, it does seem in peril. Will the household even be here tomorrow? Uncertainty's the only stock that's always been rising, and now we're losing confidence. But is it surprising? Has it not all been a gamble from the first seed we planted to margin calls on the vagaries of the FTSE 100? Well, seems we've come to our global auditing, our financial day of reckoning. It's an interesting quandary. Have we invested too much in this enterprise to admit the solution might lie in its very demise? For our real economy is something much broader. It's GDP measured not by our ability to hoard, but our capacity to relearn and earn our place in nature's order and thus remain on this planet arc. Our Pandora.